Hi everyone, so we are back to 6S on Navanti, uh, 1.4 meter, and uh, this is just uh, like an intermediary stage, I don't know, it's like a stage in between the 12S and the 8S, because um, I'm preparing this jet for very nice setup. Uh, it is going to be 8S and it's already a next flight. 8S but 200 amps. So it's gonna be around four kilo, uh, 6 kilowatts. It's gonna be the strongest setup ever that I've, I can imagine and I, I've seen on this in this jet. So it's interesting. It's gonna fly around, I hope, up to 300 kilometers per hour. So very exciting. Today we are flying on 6S, uh, standard setup, the 2250 kV motor with the Vemotec Medievo and three batteries in parallel, three Leons, which gives me 40 amps per battery and this uh, allows me to push, actually I'm, I'm pushing full throttle from the takeoff till landing. I'm not, I'm not uh, pulling back the throttle stick because I flew already maybe 10 flights like this. And the batteries are not getting warm and uh, and i'm having full power all the time and the flight is around 200 k's per hour kilometers per hour with some diving it's 220 kilometers per hour so it's quite nice it's quite dynamic because the batteries allow for it uh, so it's nice and uh, the big jet that i told you about before it's not coming <laughs> it's already eight days in transit it takes time from uh, big planes netherlands I think they should change because DHL it's it's it should be three days and it's already eight days so bad for DHL. Anyways, this so I'm maybe I will give you a hint. This is a 2.3 meter Odyssey from uh, Top Model RC, so it's a uh, around 10 to 14 kilos plane. So I'm going to set it up on 16s, 150 amps, so a lot of power, and the thrust will be way above 10 kilograms. Hard to say, but 10 to 14 kilograms. It looks like the, the plane will be fast because it's slightly bigger than the Viper. Viper from Black Horse that I was flying last month. Uh, but it's more sleek, it's more, the design is faster. It's more streamlined, it's very slim. So with this, with this power setup, with this drive, it's gonna be really exciting. And I heard that this is this plane is also flying gently and very slowly, so slowly, nice. So, so this is gonna be fun. Okay, so enough talking. Let's fly. Success setup at full throttle from takeoff to landing. So I hope you will enjoy it, like I did last few days. Thank you.
And now just a quick quick comment on the suspension that I I was showing you the last time in the last video. Uh, with the modified springs and with the travel of now it's like four centimeter travel, it's a lot and seven kilos load. It's wonderful and uh, it doesn't have any problems now, even though sometimes I land quite hard, so it's it's the way it's the way it's supposed to be. And a friend of mine this weekend landed quite hard, not really hard, but quite hard with the standard suspension, and one wing, one wing just exploded, just go, just got blown into pieces because the landing was so hard that the, the strut was not absorbing it, and it just destroyed the wing. So so he needs to buy a brand new wing. So I recommend to everyone to change this spring to 1.2 millimeter wire. 27 loops exactly then you will gain this full travel and load of 7 kilos per wheel which is nice and here is just enough to open it like stretch the spring the original spring and cut few loops because it's too long and that's it maybe you cut four or five loops and stretch it so it works all the way and it stays soft because it needs to be soft but it works all the way the travel is amazing so this is it and the uh, and the plane is great.
this was exactly six minutes flight, maybe without five seconds. On 6S, uh, three parallel, so 6S, 12,000 mAh Leons. The power draw was initially 134 uh, amps and 2.8 kilowatts, but then throughout the flight the, the, the amperage was constant 120 amps. Uh, so around two and a half kilowatts, 2.4 maybe, 2.2. Very nice. And uh, capacity used 9,000 out of 12. And the top speed was with the pitot tube 199 kilometers per hour and with GPS 222. So maybe sometimes GPS is, is not catching correctly, <laughs> I don't know. And it was fun because I could fly all the time, full speed. I didn't, just for landing, I, I had to pull back the throttle stick. And, and besides that, it was full speed all the time. It was nice. But this was the last flight uh, with this 6S setup because this motor, this engine, this is had 2,250 with, uh, with the Vemotec Midi Evo. is going to fly next time on 8S and it's gonna generate 200 amps at full battery and I'm gonna fly on three batteries, 8S, so like now, but not six, only eight. And it's gonna be six kilowatts. It's gonna be very strong setup, very exciting. I won't be able to push full throttle all the time because the batteries will get too hot because it's 60 amps per battery, 70 almost. So it's much, but it's gonna be fun, very interesting setup. And, I, and as I said before, the flight the big jet, the Odyssey from top uh, model RC, is gonna fly on on 10 kilowatts EDF. And the funny story is that during the weekend I was visiting some clubs down in South Poland, and uh, I saw guys flying jets uh, with normal turbine jets, and it was very nice and very loud, and that gave me some extra motivation to make this big jet even stronger to be able to fly 300 kilometers per hour constantly so i hope it will work and uh, the build starts soon so maybe there will be a video from the build also okay so that's it for today thank you so much and i hope to see you soon thanks <laughs>